I want to bring in Dana Kennedy, who is a top reporter at the New York Post. Dana, um, you know, it's, it's an understatement to say this news is just flooring. It is flooring, and I almost think that people, especially people maybe over 50, still think of her in a way as, you know, our little girl. It's almost like losing JFK Jr. We still remember those pictures of her when she was tiny and when she was with Elvis. I think it's I think it's a huge tragedy and it's incredibly sad. But for some reason, Ashley, I also want to say that I think she was truly heroic and I don't think her life was completely tragic because she was born really behind the eight ball. She was uh, born nine months to the day um, from her parents' wedding. And it was such a bizarre marriage. As you know, her father met Priscilla Beaulieu in Germany when he was a GI and she was only 14 years old. And they had this weird courtship at Graceland for seven or, seven or eight years before he married her. It was a pretty odd marriage, a pretty weird courtship. And Lisa came into this and they divorced when she was about four years old. She went back and forth between the two of them. As we know, she found her father when he died at Graceland in the worst possible way. And then she had to make her life for herself. And she also, you know, was introduced to Scientology at a very young age when she was only about 10 years old. Her mother, Priscilla, had been kind of lured in by John Travolta. And she was in there getting counseling when she was nine or 10. And from what I've heard from my Scientology sources, I've covered that subject a lot. She really didn't like it when she was a kid. It was one more thing that she had to go through. And when you think, you know, she put out three albums, people forget this. And no less a critic than Robert Hilburn of the LA Times praised her albums to the skies. She had a wonderful bluesy original sound, but how could she ever really break out of the mold of being Elvis's daughter? And I think she really did try to find love with her four marriages. And who can forget her incredible interview, Ashley, with Diane Sawyer when Diane interviewed interviewed her and Michael Jackson together and really grilled them and put them on the spot. And Lisa Marie was a tough cookie. She was every bit of match for Diane Sawyer. She wasn't having some of Diane's probing questions. She stood up for herself and she stood up for Michael. And you heard what Billy Bush said just a few minutes ago that, you know, Lisa Marie brought out a lot of humanity in Michael. It was probably one of the few normal times in his life. And when she left him, he went downhill. So I think there was a lot of heroism and a lot of strength. She wrote an incredible essay for People Magazine last year on the National Day of Grieving. And she said that her son, Dan, um, her son, Benjamin, who, as you say, committed suicide two years ago, was so much like Elvis, she was scared. And she said also that when he died, the worst part after the part of losing him was so many people couldn't handle it and kind of avoided her. So she went through so much and she's only 54 and it's so sad she left everybody. But I think she really tried and she had beautiful moments in her life and fantastic achievements as well. You know, Dana, your reporting is just so poignant and so insightful and so knowledgeable. I, I you know, I can't thank you enough. Um, just right off the bat, calling you and you having all of that right at the tip of your tongue. Um, you mentioned it, that she was a singer in her own right. I just want to play, if I can, uh, some sounds from Lisa Marie Presley. I want to hear her singing. I want you all to hear her talking about the, the movie that, that had just come out, you know, featuring her father, Austin Butler, playing such an amazing, amazing rendition of Elvis Presley. And then the last interview that, um, that Lisa Marie ever gave. Let, let's have a listen. mind-blowing <laughs> truly mind-blowing I really didn't know what it, what to do with myself after after I saw it yeah I, I'm gonna grab your arm yes. um, a, a lot a lot actually and I adore him when you first saw him what did you think you mean in the movie yeah just saw him yeah in the role I was mind-blown truly I actually had to take like five days to process it you know, you heard Billy Bush just moments ago on this program saying that was the last interview. It was just days ago at the Golden Globes where he had 
had this conversation with her and noticed that she was not standing under her own power. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.